This character goes back to kind of my childhood and it's from an older version, I guess you could say. It goes back a long ways actually. I remember watching Dragon Ball. Yep, it's another Dragon Ball character. I remember watching Dragon Ball a long time ago when I was a child and just kind of really enjoying it. Later on in life, it, it inspired me to work away, start working out, be healthier, and it just inspired a good lifestyle. So there's a lot of good things. And a lot of people hate GT. I'm sorry guys, I love GT, but original Dragon Ball is where it's at. The original 1985 movies and all that other stuff. But the best part about today is we were talking about a kind of a side character, but he plays a main part in the plot. It's kind of an odd thing to say, because we were introduced to him and it's just like a side character and then develops into like a pretty much a full side character, I'd say. So let's just get into it right now, guys. This is an EB Games exclusive Emperor Pilaf. Boom. So, like I said, this is an EB Games exclusive. They just switch up the sticker between GameStop and EB Games. See the side here for peel off. In the back, you can see Balma and Goku. And then just go peel off. Is it spelled right? Oh, they actually spelled it right. So, talking about peel off, is he was always after the Dragon Ball and he wanted power in the wrong way, though, in this series. The figure is actually done very well. I like how he's holding the Dragon Ball. I like how his hat resembles the one star Dragon Ball that he's holding. Yeah, everything seems to be pretty correct. There's not much to this figure, but it is like, I always kind of judge on the figure on, on whether it would be recognizable outside of the box. Cause sure, peel off on the side, peel off on the side, on the front of the box, it kind of says its name, but can you tell that that's peel off? Or can you tell it's any character outside of the box? And I definitely would be able to recognize Pilaf. I don't know if other people would, but he's, he's is, is a pretty big saga in the original Dragon Ball. So I definitely could recognize him. I like the the tuffles or the rustles around his uh, neck. That's pretty cool detail. Pilaf refers to himself as a great king. It's kind of fun. His minions, Sho and Mei, also refer to him as such. He's like a three foot tall kind of blue figure as you can see here. Although they made his pop a bit bigger, he's definitely smaller for sure. Pilaf craves nothing more than to have control and power. Previously, Pilaf ruled over a castle in, in or close to the mushroom field. He has his own saga in Dragon Ball, which is pretty cool. Pilaf actually has no special powers. And sometimes it seems that he has the mentality of a child. Sometimes he will act like a child who has a new toy, or even cry. Pilaf is even like Mr. Satan where he would provide that slapstick-esque style of comedy or a com comedic relief. Sho, Mei, and Pilaf, I think drop out of the flying fortress or something like that, and they fall to the ground where normally every other character would die. They kind of just get comedically hurt in that slapstick style. Pilaf's end goal was to release King Piccolo and wreak havoc, and it does. Releasing King Piccolo caused in numerous amounts of deaths. Pilaf also assisted in the revival of Frieza. Once again, Pilaf is very selfish and he wants to have power and control over the total world. He's caused the earth to be destroyed twice. Pilaf has been revived by the Dragon Balls, which means he may or may not be evil. He has a good side to him, for sure, but he has that evil-esque red ribbon. In Dragon Ball Super, Pilaf actually helps out Trunks. Pilaf in that slapstick style of comedy ends up torturing Sho and Mei numerous amounts of times. Mainly because the trio fails to get the Dragon Balls. This is great. This is really what makes him upset. Uh, if I can remember correctly, when Pilaf has the Dragon Balls all assembled and together, and he's about to make his wish and raises the eternal dragon, Oolong, the pig, Oolong comes in and wishes for the most comfortable pair of underwear, and he gets granted them. And Pilaf is just, <laughs> just irate. So, talking one last point about what happened to Pilaf's castle, 
Well, in that saga, Goku actually turns into the great ape and absolutely destroys the castle. I remember it too, actually, thinking about it now. <laughs> yep, literally turns into the great ape and absolutely just destroys the castle, so there's nothing left. That's all I got to talk about the lore there, guys. And like I said, there's just the figure itself, very well done. I like that it really resembles Pilaf. The I'm not sure. Is that a picture? It doesn't look like an illustration. It looks like a picture of Pilaf. I don't know. I can't really tell, guys. Can you can you tell? Does it look? Like, is it a picture? Or is that is that an illustration? Look at the look at the neck piece. Especially here, it looks like it's. Let's see. It looks like it's plastic. To be honest, there we go. It really looks like it's plastic. And it has that effect all throughout. So it could just be animation, but on mine here, there are no defects that I can see. Would I recommend picking this figure up? When I went to buy mine, I didn't see any else on the shelves. So take it as it is, I guess, for that matter. But if you find one and you like Dragon Ball, this is definitely a figure to be picking up. Uh, I was hoping they would start making more original Dragon Ball figures because they've done a lot of DBZ and a lot of the same DBZ figures. What makes me most kind of like <sighs> Planet to really a Vegeta is the same sculpt. It's just different colors. Yeah, but it's worth like two, two grand. Like, go figure. Why? No one knows. Anyways guys, if you like what you saw, definitely don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know I appreciate and need your help. Let's get to 10,000. I got a goal now. We gotta get to 10,000. That'd be nice. And then we can go shoot for 100,000 and go from there. Anyways guys, take care my friends. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Bye for now.